Hello aspirants, welcome back to your kids YouTube channel where we regularly upload expert backed carefully curated content for all your study abroad needs. Subscribe to our channel and also hit the bell icon so you never miss an update on anything study abroad. In this video we will give you pointers on how to craft the perfect profile that universities simply can't refuse. An attractive profile ensures your admission into your dream university. But what is the magic spell to charm the university evaluators? Let's help you break it down into six simple ways to master the art of crafting the perfect profile. So without further ado, let's get right into it. As of January 2021, more than 1 million students are studying in 85 different countries outside of India. And more than 50% of these students are studying in North America. This means that they're doing one thing right, crafting the perfect profile that makes studying abroad a walk in the park. A student's profile represents everything that motivates them to study and why they would be the perfect fit in the university of their choice. So a worthy profile is compelling, driven by passion and shows that the student is willing to go the extra mile to fulfill their dreams. Identify your USP The first thing students need to do in order to build their profile is understand what truly makes them themselves. Every individual is unique and that serves as a great platform to promote yourself. Identify your unique selling point you need to categorize your strengths into professional, academic, technical, and communication prowess. This can be boosted by doing a certification program. Once you've identified your USP, that will give you a competitive edge over other applicants in the same domain. Stellar SOP The personal statement or statement of purpose remains the most important part of any admissions process. It gives the admissions committee an opportunity to peek into your background and also get the essence of who you are as a person. SOP allows you to display your passion and interest in your intended specialization and also explain any gaps in your academic credentials. Your focus has to be on clearly explaining the purpose behind you picking a particular specialization. You must also mention your short-term and long-term goals in one paragraph. These goals need to be as specific as possible. Describe any academic or professional background relevant to your purpose. Throwing the word purpose around so much, you might be wondering what really is my purpose? Let's hold the existential crisis for a while. Talk about what made you choose that particular program from that specific university and how you hope to be an asset to the university after the completion of your program. It's always a good idea to get opinions of others like educational advisors or career counseling services as SOP greatly determines your chances of getting into your dream university. You can check out a few sample SOPs in the link in the description. Powerful resume. The university committee has to go through thousands of applications to select suitable candidates for their program. This means it's quite common for them to get repetitive and boring resumes, which turns this process into a snooze fest. Your resume cannot be a lullaby, it has to be a shot of espresso. Create a powerful resume that highlights your strengths and weaknesses at the same time. This resume should provide more information than what is available in your university application. It should enhance the university application and also let the universities evaluate your candidature in a better manner. Some hacks to keep your resume crisp and appealing at the same time are Go for short sentences and be extra careful with grammar Give a clear idea of your academic achievements and touch up on topics like work experience, research publications, certifications, volunteering experience, etc. Course. There is no better way to land an admission in a top university than having someone recommend you. No, really, an LOR is a third perspective impression of your candidature. So a glowing letter of recommendation can really help you seal your admission. Letter of recommendation is based on skills like good academic record, professional achievements, integrity, motivation, creativity, and other relevant skills. You must take help of your professors to write impressive LORs because they qualify to assess your performance and also can vouch for your academic credentials. However, if you have any work experience ranging from one year or more, it's best to get one recommendation from there as well. For any masters abroad, you are generally required to submit three letters of recommendation, so it's ideal if you have two academic and one professional LOR. Work experience. If you work for a company that really tested your capabilities and pushed you to the limits, maybe that's a good thing. No, hear me out. If a company that you worked in has a tedious and competitive recruitment process, it actually helps the admissions committee view your profile in a positive light. If you've worked in a company or done an internship related to the program you're trying to pursue, that's again a positive for your profile. It shows the admissions committee that you've always been an academic success and also bagged a job in the same domain. Diversify your profile with extracurriculars. The last step 
is to bedazzle your profile with things that are not just academic oriented it really helps to understand an applicant as a multi dimensional personality so go ahead and add new and different things that you might have learned through certifications or an internship experience maybe a volunteering experience a community service or helping an ngo can really help boost your profile and voila now you have the perfect combination of pointers to craft the perfect profile follow these steps to craft a profile that will guarantee you admission into your dream university and if you like this video give it a big thumbs up and share it with your friends also make sure you leave your queries feedback and comments in the comment section our experts will get back to you at yoket we have a team of experts dedicated to addressing your queries and pain points so feel free to tell us what you want us to talk about next take a moment to check out our channel for more valuable information on lots of different topics our yoket connect series where yoket aspirants who actually made it share their success stories experiences and tips many expert interviews live streams and tutorials detailing everything about the nitty gritties of studying abroad next video dropping soon till then stay tuned good luck aspirants Thank mm -hmm. you.